Hi guys and welcome to another Divi Snippets video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to explore our bottom bar here if we go down to the bottom of the page. Yesterday we did the widget area, I showed you how to use that and add widgets. widgets. Here's the bottom bar, this black bar at the bottom. And you can decide how you decorate it. So let's, we're in our theme customizer right now. To get to the theme customizer, go to your dashboard, down to Divi, to theme customizer. You can also get to it via appearance, themes, and customize. So once here, let's go down to our footer. And we did our layout yesterday, and our widgets and footers at elements. What we want to do is go to the bottom bar now. Here's our bottom bar. You can change what goes on there simply write your own text in there. I'm going to use an alt code for the copyright so it's hold your alt key down 0169 and you'll get the copyright symbol. Whatever you want to write in yours obviously. And as you can see that's appeared down the bottom there. Now we've got social icons here, if you want to use them. You can change the icon size and the font size. And if you wanted to have nothing here at all, you could just disable the footer credits. But that's fine with me. Text color, you can change it to whatever color you want. I've got it as a kind of dark gray at the moment. You can bring it up to whatever color you want using your color palette right there. Now if you decided you didn't want to have social share buttons at the bottom there, just go back and we'll go to footer elements. You can uncheck social icons and as you can see they disappear from down there. Now if you do want them and you want to set them, we need to go to our theme options, to Divi, to the general tab and if we scroll down you'll see your social links right here. You just need to put in the Facebook profile page, Twitter. There is no Google Plus anymore. That needs to be gone. Instagram, RSS if you want to use it. Just put in the ones that you want to use there. And that'll make those links active for you. So there's how to organize the bottom bar. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.